What is up, everyone? I'm Leon, the Paperback Maniac. Very happy to welcome you all to part two of the endless saga that is Mailbox Horrors, in which I catalog the manifold array of horror paperbacks procured from the internet that have arrived in my mailbox. Some in better condition than others. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, the first book we're looking at today is Bad Blood by Deborah Fowler. This book was published by Pinnacle in 1993. I recently did my Pinnacle collection video. Uh, as you can see, the collection is never complete, uh, constantly being added to, and I am very uh, excited to add this one and, and read this book. Uh, I've got a couple other Deborah Fowler books uh, on my shelves uh, with some more on the way, and uh, she seems like right up my alley. I'm really looking forward to checking her stuff out and, and reviewing it for you guys on this channel. Okay, the next book, gosh, the lighting sucks. Um, my face apparently becomes white every time I move, but uh, just gonna have to deal with that. Next book is Face uh, Maker by William Katz. This book was published by Avon in 1988. And I, I, I do dig that, uh, I do dig that cover. That, that looks very neat, very cool uh, little, little painting there. Avon had some great covers. One of these days I'll have to do an Avon video as well. Okay, next up is Emergence by uh, Robert D. Sansusi. Uh, this was also published by Avon in 1981. And definitely has that characteristic uh, early 80s artwork, uh, which I do love so much. Okay, next up, we've got uh, If Thoughts Could Kill by G.F. Bale. This book was published by Charter Diamond in 1990. And uh, this one's got some pretty cool die cut uh, artwork there. Oops. Pretty neat. Okay, next up, we've got The Quagmire by James Kisner. I probably don't have to tell you who published this one. You should be able to tell just by the skeleton, skeletal arms coming out of that, uh, that quagmire. Uh, this was published by Zebra, of course, in 1991. And it's got, uh, you know, one of Zebra's characteristically uninspired covers. Some people love zebra covers. I, I honestly just am usually not too impressed with them. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, I mean, I mean, how many different things can you do with a skeleton, really? Right? It's not. It's not like the ultimate in horror, as they apparently thought it was. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Nightlife by Jack Ellis, A.K.A. Stephen R. George. Stephen R. George was a uh, part of the Zebra stable of writers. He published a lot with Zebra in the early uh, to mid 90s. Uh, this was his last book, apparently, according to Wikipedia. I uh, don't know what he's been doing since then, uh, but I believe uh, Stephen R. George was one of Zebra's better writers. So I'm um, looking forward to checking this one out. Okay, next up, we've got Night of the Claw by J. Ramsey, a.k.a. Ramsey Campbell. Uh, this was published by Tor in 1985, this edition, although it was originally published in 1983, presumably in the UK. Good old werewolf horror. Gotta love that. Next up, we've got Vampire Junction by S.P. Somto. Uh, this was published by Tor in 1984, and um, I'm not, you know, the biggest vampire fan. I mean, I do like it when it's done right, you know, like The Light at the End or something like that. But uh, in general, I mean, they're, they're okay, but this one seems really special. Uh, this one I'm really, really uh, excited to read, and um, I'll definitely review that when I do. Okay, and then uh, next up... We've got The Sins of the Flesh by Don and Jay Davis. Uh, this one was published by Tor in 1989. 
I think I recently showed these brothers' uh, book, uh, Bring on the Night, in a previous video. This one, this die cut artwork, look at the look at the step back cover art there. Oh my god, that is absolutely terrifying and beautiful all at once. Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, then we got a couple of classics because you know. I, I, I do like classics as well. We got The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. Uh, this edition from Tor was published in 1992, though it was originally published in uh, 1897. That's, uh, yeah, this is one that I've, I've wanted to read for years, so looking forward to getting to that eventually. And then we've got, I'm really excited about this one, Hell House by Richard Matheson. Um, I recently reviewed uh, Richard Matheson's I Am Legend, uh, loved it, decided I need more Richard Matheson in my life, so I got this one. I really like this edition from, um, this edition is from Warner Books, uh, published in 1985. Uh, the book was originally published in 1971, but um, yeah, looking forward to checking out some Hell House. It's going to be, it's going to be good. Okay, next we've got oof, Night Plague by Graham Masterton. Uh, this is part of the uh, Night Warriors series. I have I had the first couple. I believe this is book three. Uh, this was published in by Tor in 1991. And then the fourth in that series, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, Night Wars. Uh, and this was published by Leisure in 2006. Okay, just two more here. Okay, we've got uh, next Brainwatch by Robert W. Walker. I recently reviewed this guy's book, Aftershock. Uh, liked that one. Thought I'd check this one out. I believe this was his second published novel. Uh, this was published by Leisure in 1985. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to be checking out more Robert W. Walker. Great pulpy fun. And then the last book here is actually a science fiction book, but one of the most impressive covers I think I have ever seen. Uh, this is The Parasite War by Tim Sullivan, and this was published by Avon in 1989, and that is just an amazing cover. Just gorgeous. Uh, I can't wait to read this. I've, I've read good things about it. Um, very, very much looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. So, yes, there you have it. Let me wait for my face to become normal again. Gosh, I look like I'm jaundiced or something in this light. Um, yeah, that was Mailbox Horrors Part 2. Um, this is going to be an ongoing series, I can uh, assure you, so uh, stay tuned for future installments of this as uh, time goes by. Uh, hopefully, uh, the law of diminishing returns that applies to uh, movie sequels will not apply to uh, this segment. Um, but until next time, uh, you know, keep an eye out for uh, another review next week. And of course, if you have liked this video, if you like this kind of stuff and enjoy these things, uh, consider subscribing, uh, sharing, uh, giving me a thumbs up because I love that, uh, commenting because I love talking with you guys about this stuff. Uh, and yes, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.